What up everybody? Mark Galloway here. Welcome to vlog 16, 17. I'm lost track again. Welcome to my next vlog. And we are going to Atlanta, Georgia. And yep. Um I actually went to Georgia or Atlanta, Georgia once before back in 2013, and that was around the time that that that, that meteor hit Russia. But like back then, my dad had a friend at the time named Lamar who invited. We actually met Lamar at Las Vegas, Nevada, back in 2012. And in the following year, he invited us to Atlanta, Georgia, and we enjoyed the show. And we didn't see J Lamar for a long time. My dad thought that he was like a scammer or something like that. He tried to screw us out of his money. But um, so yeah, we didn't see him since, and we didn't go back there for about six years. So it's 2019 now, and for the first time. In six years, I'm going back to Atlanta, Georgia. Originally, I was just going to drive over there, see the show, see Annie, and then come right home. But because my van is no longer in the best condition, we're going to fly there. It's going to be me and my mom going. I wasn't so sure about her going. But <sighs> because, you see, Annie, um, she is like a family friend. And usually when she usually when a family member is at a restaurant, she gives like a discount on food. The last time I think I when I saw her was I think she actually recently just visited. But yeah, she actually owns like a few food chains in Atlanta and somewhere around Georgia and a few and a few around Georgia. I think it's around mostly Atlanta if I'm right. But yeah, so I'm in the middle of packing. I only have like a few things left to put in there. So yeah, um this won't this most likely will not be so much of a big vlog. Oh, there's like a dog or a kitten just going right through my neighbor's yard. I can't really zoom in on I can't really zoom in through the you know the GoPro, but there is like a kitten. Here, let me transfer to my phone. Alright, I'm at my phone now. Here. See? Well this is the best I'm able to do. Let me see. There is like I can't really tell. That has to be like a dog or something. But that looks way too big to be a cat. It could be a dog for what I know. It's just going right into my neighbor's table. On the other hand, why would it why would it be a dog? I mean, it's just laying there. See? Yeah, that has to be a cat because look at the way it's moving around. Yeah, that's a cat. I see its ears. Has to be a lost cat. Because I don't remember seeing that cat in Charlie's yard. Yeah, Charlie's my neighbor. That I don't remember if he ever owned a cat. Yeah, that was the best I was able to do with my phone. So yeah, that ha that's like a lost cat or something. But anyways, I'm just going to be packing a couple of my stuff. And also, as I was saying, is that this might not be a very big vlog. Because for number one, my mom doesn't really like being videotaped. She doesn't really want to be a part of this whole vlog, but I'm going to document much of my trip as I can, so, yeah. So, I'm just going to finish packing, and we're off to Georgia. So, while we're still getting ready, I just thought maybe I can give you guys one last look at my van. So, yeah, I went to bring this van in because, like, when I looked at the tires, they were, looked like they were starting to go down, and I wanted to get the oil changed. So, I dropped it off at a... At an automotive shop and then that's when we got the call that it's no longer in the best condition as it was so it still runs and all but unfortunately it's no good for any road trips anymore so what we are gonna do is that we're going to take the license plates off and I know you guys could say just sell it for a low price and then maybe we'll get someone get to work on it well that one I'm not really so sure about right now me and my family right now are still thinking about what to do with this van in the meantime but we do know that we have to get it you know we have to get it out of here and you know we have to make room for a new van so what I have my eyes on is that like there is this van I was never original I was looking at some vans that I could get from maybe from Craigslist or something or I don't know. My my family's thinking that maybe we could do it like a dealership. Maybe you could do like a low price or payment per month. So, so I wasn't originally. I was originally looking for you know something in New Jersey and New York, and then I came across this ad. But it's actually from Minnesota. But it looked like it was from New York. This was around Craigslist. So there is this uh, SUV type van 
like from a, from a dealership from like a special camper van convert conversion dealership in Minnesota where they take like a van or an SUV and then they empty it out and then they make it look like it's a camper of some sorts and then you can have it shipped to your location they actually make um, they actually sell these vans nationwide they don't sell locally they sell like around the US United States so that is actually what I'm thinking about but I have to look at some other um, you know vans with my family because they're the ones that are trying to approve of it so I just so let's like give you guys one last tour of my van while it's still here I had some good times with this van so right here this is what my van is like now um, I took one seat out because it was taking a little bit too much room in my opinion I'm thinking about putting it back I still have that seat in my basement so this velcro right here is where the the trash can and the cooler used to sit I'm actually keeping them I actually have them in my house I just had to clean it out and this is really this this was my favorite part of the van I mean this wasn't included in my purchase this is a it included Bluetooth stereo that I had it upgraded into the van so I could travel a lot easier with uh, directions uh, maps and you know um, DVD players that really meant something and this right here is this right here is a GPS or magnet holder for my phone. Like, can this come off? Uh, well, I, I, I think I might have to keep this. But yeah, the problem is that like this has to come off. So yeah, I think I'll just take this. Actually, I don't know if I should take that off. What I do know is that I will keep this and this. I have to find another um, installment for, you know, this. Uh, Oh shoot, this phone holder until it, when I get a new van, I gotta find a place to fit it. So, yeah, all the information and such is still in here. That includes, like, you know, for the, this radio in the van. And that was a radio that I was gonna fill in with the boards and such. But I couldn't really bring myself, I, I mean, I was gonna get it, but it was until I, it was before before I got the news on my van so that's just gonna remain like that and this also really came in handy this is the chest that held all my accessories and luggage this mattress I think I might keep this but for this chest I'm not really so sure I mean I bought it with my money I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with it but it's just right now I have to uh, me and my family are gonna have to figure out what to do with this van in the meantime it's just really right now it's just too heavy to take out so this is this is my oh and this uh tv and there's that dvd player that i had upgraded to this thing so yeah that was this i had some good times in this van just thought i also show you guys real quick look at this lego fan power six is only one subscriber away from hitting eight thousand subscribers and that is so exciting and we're almost two thousand away from ten thousand which is my ultimate goal on my channel and moving forward will be a new chapter on lego fan if i was six also i found out that the magnet that i had in my van is a is a skoshi magic mount magnetic card dash smartphone blah 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 mount black mint cam or something um so yeah that's the magnet that i had in my van so i just bought a new one for fifteen dollars and that one I'm actually just gonna keep on hold until I get a new van, which I really hope will be this um, SUV car van. And that my heart really is on that van because it's four wheel drive, it's easier to drive, it has a backup camera, and it really has just about everything installed that I need to sleep in it and all that. And it even has a TV, a refrigerator, outlets, and I even have the option to put in a dry toilet or something, a dry flush toilet. So yeah. But so I just bought a magnet. We're almost at 8,000 subscribers on my LEGO Fan 6 channel. And this is about it. Now it's time to finish packing and head to the airport. I forgot this about a couple times. And so I know it's about a few months after Christmas. But there is like a good friend of mine in Atlanta that I'm going to give this to. Uh, Jamie Gardner. So Jamie Gardner of Overboard. You know, he knows where I'm coming from. Blah, blah, blah. Such like that. So 
Here is so here is like one part of the card, the hashtag Mark Crush. That's my drawing for the that I drew for the throwdown contest. Me with the truck, the title, the title plate. Me with the ATV doing the M symbol, and on the back it has Lego Fan Five with Six with my signature and the hashtag Mark Crush symbol and Merry Merry Crushing Christmas. And again, I know this isn't Christmas, but I just thought you know still give it to a friend would be thoughtful. Well, we are. Just about ready to go. Um, I mean, it, I might not have like a lot of carry-ons in here, but I mean, usually I just like to carry, you know, put in my book and I put in a book of my choice and just put in my chargers and cameras, you know, something like this, you know, the GoPro, and I just like put in like whatever I want to carry on to the plane. I just like put it into that bag. It might it might not be much, but it's pretty much enough. And plus, the flight's not really that long anyway, so. I should make out okay. My stuff is all ready. I made sure everything was in order. And yeah, we're all set. All right, we're here at Newark Airport. Um, so I'm going to just look at a few stores, see if I can find something to eat. I am thinking of trying out the pizza at that uh, that was on the menu last time I was here at Newark Airport. But it was my first time trying the menu. But I'm not gonna use it too much when I'm here at the airport. So just gonna see what I can find at these mini stores and then I'm gonna head back um, and then and get on my flight then. And, and TSA, once again, you know, took my suitcase and said it was my belt that was on a scanner, but, you know, they let me off no problem. It's probably going to happen all the time, but anyways, um, yeah, as I said before, this is going to be probably a short vlog, so, yeah, it's mostly because my mom doesn't want to be on camera or videotape, so, yeah, all right, I'll be back soon. I had to just think about it. I just decided to just settle myself with a turkey cob wrap. I didn't want to waste. I mean, I'll try the pizza next time when I'm at Newark Airport. But since we're like less than an hour away from boarding, just decided, you know, to get a quick one. Mm -mm. Very good.
to Atlanta where the local time is 6.16 p.m. We'll be taxing for the next few moments, but please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened and all items stowed until the fasten seatbelt sign has been turned off. Please be mindful of your personal belongings, look around and make sure you have everything before you exit the aircraft, and be careful when opening the overhead compartments. We're here in Atlanta, Georgia. We just landed. Me and my mom had to just go to a quick bathroom break, but uh, we just got off our flight. And it smells very delicious over the here because I am at uh, Auntie Annie's. Yeah, I can smell it, like the pizza pretzels. So delicious. So I don't know if I want to stop for one though. I have had them before, but anyways, yeah, we just got off our flight and now I'm gonna check into my hotel. Okay, so we're actually eating here. This is Annie's um, restaurant that we're getting an exclusive look at. It's called Pancake Social. It's not open to the public and it's still in the process but like she like gives family members like exclusive looks whenever she's op gonna open a <laughs> restaurant so like nothing's really in there so much but like as long as they're still making food i mean that's okay with us okay well here's um what the inside is supposed to look like Here's what the chairs look like. Like all these clocks like have the pancake pictures and type of pan pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't feel like marble. Here's the kitchen, guys. They have deep fryers, they have pans. Let me see if I can get like an exclusive look in here. I know that we're not allowed in here when it's open, but like here is, this is the stove. Deep fryers. Okay, so what I was actually just told, if right before we walked in, they actually don't have food. We're just getting an exclusive look at what the restaurant is supposed to be like. So here we have like a sink and it's so clean looking. Some mini pants. A sink, we have a rack. Exit door, clean up sink, fire extinguisher, trash can. First time I've ever been back at a kitchen. And, oh, here's some waffle makers right here. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with it. But, like, that's supposed to be where you can make the waffles. Get this open. That's yeah, supposed to be the bar. And that's her GPS going off. And here is the bar. There's a fridge. More sinks. I mean, uh, as you guys see, I mean, still in the process. And Annie actually painted this floor, believe it or not. And you can actually see that there's pancakes in that too. If I come back to Atlanta someday, I can't wait to eat here. This seems like a very promising restaurant and it's gonna look delicious. It's just pretty cool. This right here is Carl Mari. Boston. Boston on Saturday. Oh. Look at this, guys. This is an octopus. Octopus. Where is it new? Right? So it's flying to New York. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. we're probably going to take off at like 6 p.m. Yeah. And the play was at night? Mm -hmm. The sauce is good, too. <laughs> Palmar and squid, really chewy, really delicious. She got there at intermission. Like the sauce? Local? She sent me, she had an email. Oh my god. Okay, now we're gonna try the main meal. We're gonna try some of the fries here. Oh, they're a little hot, so. Are you kidding? Yeah, it's a bit of ketchup. No, but you're freaked out. 
still typical fried taste. Oh my God, it's crazy. Now let's try the lobster roll. This Messy and hot, but delicious. Okay guys, so we're here in my hotel room. We're actually just like right down the street from the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Uh, right here is the bathroom. This is what it's uh, supposed to look like. And they're pretty good, and I like how the entrance is to the bathroom just like that and it's like in a triangular shape sort of uh, right there that's just a closet and we have some side tables and lamps and then we have like a queen or king size bed and we have like a mini desk and some drawers this is like where you, if you have your own laptop, you can just like um, sit right there and then do some work. And you can you have your own little coffee machine, microwave, like in case if you bought and and a fridge, just like in case you bought a drink or a microwavable thing, you can just like put it in here and make your own little lunch. And another side table right there, right here, with an alarm clock. So yeah, the the my hotel here is pretty nice I'm only staying here the night though because I'm gonna be spending the next night at uh, my aunt Annie's farm and then after that I'm just gonna give you a little quick tour of the farm and then eat at one, another one of her restaurants and then after that is gonna be the journey home so yeah that's something I'm looking forward to uh, having you explore with me and also here is another little lamp. If I can get like the switch for this. Uh, is this it? Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. You have like a little bit of a foot button for this thing. So yeah. Now guys, I'm gonna go to bed. And let's get ready to have some fun at the show tomorrow. I won't have any clips from the show, but maybe I might have some, but we'll see. It is now Saturday, February 23rd. It's uh, about um, seven minutes to nine o'clock. I'm now in the process of getting dressed and I have my signature hashtag more crush shirt. Oh, and I just played with my glasses a little bit. Uh, well, it'll just take a minute, but um, so I'm just in the process of getting ready and um, I, do, I am gonna wear this shirt a few more times and then like, before I go to Florida for the World Finals, um, after I do something special, I am going to think about redesigning the shirt with some new pictures and about the same font as what the writing is on the shirt, but just like change it up a little bit. I'm still in my Deadpool pajama shirt. Well, I am. I did put my trousers on, but I'm just like... Just like slowly getting ready. I mean, no reason to hurry. But I mean, I do have to check out of the hotel by 11. So. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to put on my shirt, brush my teeth, brush my hair, get dressed, etc. And then just probably eat something real quick. Come back up here, get my things. And then around 11 o'clock, I'm checking out. And my mom and Annie is coming over to pick up my things. And then I'm going to the stadium. And also... What was I going to say? Oh, right. So, we also told... Me and my mom also told Annie that, like, you know, I was originally supposed to drive here, but, you know, because my van is no longer in perfect condition, as what we recently just found out, you know, I told her I was originally going to drive down here. But, you know, because of that, we had to fly. So, we had been... We told her we'd been searching for some vans, and she actually gave us a website that actually might help us. 
we, but we're still gonna need some quality time. But I want to try to get like a new camper van before you know the summer. And I'm, I'm like seeing something on my lip. I'll take care of it. But yeah, that's like another small update. But we're not. We're trying to. We're trying our best. <laughs> with chips, yep. basils, and actually baked potatoes. It's hot, but very delicious. Mm. I like that we put potato chips on it, too. <laughs> mm. Hey, guys. All right, so... I didn't post like an update like you know where uh, last time I kind of like checked in I think I was like heading towards the event and like I didn't record like we we went to like this other restaurant I forgot what it was at this point but um I'll have to ask Annie again but uh we went to another restaurant that she owns and we took like a uh, walk through and like they have like uh, some sort of restaurant connected with a little bit of a market and so we walk we walked through like a restaurant or like the, the well more like the marketplace and then like we just like took like a turn and then we went to the back section and then that's where um you know we saw the restaurant and then we decided to order some well I well I just picked out what I could order from you know the the menu and then I just picked like a potato pizza it's a pizza mixed with a uh, garlic butter or something and with potatoes and um cheese and parsley or basil whatever it is and it was so good. And and then she also had a van over there of her own where she does deliveries. And, like, I, um, I just went inside because, like, you know, it was, like, so much storage. And I just wanted to see what it would be like if I just walked around in there. And, yeah, shortly I would have to, like, just bend down. But, yeah. Um, it, I mean, that if I... And I just got a notification. It's my mom asking if I'm awake. I'm just going to let her know that I'm going to give her a few minutes. I'm just going to give you guys a quick look. And um, and also when I was at the stadium, I mean, I couldn't record anything for the vlog due to, you know, risking getting a copyright. But there will be something on my LEGO Fan506 channel. So, um, so yeah, after that, I after that we just drove all the way here. This is the farm apartment. It's not like a multi-room thing. This is the only room. This is where Annie invites her guests and then just like... Um, she invites them to sleep here. So right here we have the bedroom. This is like a, a wooden deer headstock thing. You can hear the roosters going on. So I'll give you guys a quick look. This is Annie's house. I can't really give you guys a uh, good look. But that's her house. But right here we have... This is the bedroom. And we have some uh, fishing lines. Some vintage fishing lines on display. And, and we, here we have like some paintings of horses and this is um you can't really make it out too well but that is somewhere in a well, annie's farm i can't really read that but this is annie's farm and right here we have this is the the, the um this the wardrobe or the the drawers whatever you want to call it and this is actually an old painting that my mom made this is of a front of the of a farm with a uh, retired tractor and right here we have some wooden displays of deers, foxes, rabbits, and you know just some rodents. And that these are the these are the lanterns that light up the room. And I'm gonna give you and this is the bed. And I kind of like stroke. I well, I mean there wasn't a problem. I mean I slept I slept well, but when you get in it at first it gets a little cold. And I'm gonna text my mom soon. I'm just gonna hold on. 
Okay, no, I thought she sent another text. I'll text her back in a minute. I'm just gonna show you guys outside real quick. <clears throat> and it's a little dim in here. I'm gonna turn on the light. There you go. Is this another light? Nah, it's probably the outside light. But anyways, this is the kitchen area. We have some... Here we have some antlers. Uh, I can't, you can't really see it too well because of the, how the lighting is on the GoPro. I'm just uh, saving a little bit of storage on my phone and plus my, well, actually, not really, it's not mainly just that my phone's charging, so that's a thing. Um, but, um, hopefully if I get in the light a little bit, there you go, you can see a little better, I just had to outline it, but those are the antlers of an antelope. Some hats hanging, another deer head, oh, uh, well, that one you can't see very well, but there's a deer head there. This is just the kitchen setup, we have a lamp, some tea kettles, mugs, uh, makers. And here's some pots. We have a mini stove, a sink. And now I have the heat going on. We have a microwave and a fridge. Oh, and I was asking mom to get some water. I didn't even realize this was water. And we also have some old boots. There's some cushions for the table. And this right here, we have some some pucks forgot what these are but these are like for some old game and right here is the bathroom this is a sliding door but this thing's in the way so we're just gonna I'm just gonna show you what it's like real quick in here that's like a mini shower corner and there's a sink a double sink or a duo sink and that's the toilet right there that's all I'll show you of the bathroom I'm gonna shoot another quick clip of with my phone but I had to leave it to charge but let me see if I can get a little lighting if I open this it's sunny out here don't know if it's warm though there we go now you can see the antlers a lot better but as for oh and there's the deer head yeah you can see it yeah this uh, lighting right here did help a little bit so yeah and also there is some statues just right up there of, a, of just like some horses and a llama, if you don't know. Alright, now I'm just gonna go ahead, get dressed, and then I'm gonna give you guys a quick look around. I'm gonna give you guys a quick lighting, a quick look at something here. So here is my bag. This is what I usually carry my merchandise in along with my belt. Uh, yeah, my belt's in there. You can see the shine, but, but if you look right here on the side, and even in that lighting, it's, it's a little bad, even on the GoPro. But right here, as you can see, hold on, I'll get my phone. Okay, I'm just going to shoot this with my phone because the GoPro doesn't provide the good light. But, <clears throat> so here's my bag, and, you know, there's my belt, blah, 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 merchandise is in there. But this part of the belt, or the bag, as you see, it's peeling off a little. So, I'm going to have to try to super glue that back in once I'm back home in New York. The reason why I think how it happened, so most stadiums have like a bag policy where you can't bring bags somewhere around this size or something. You have to bring in a clear tote. So um, I had to buy a, a tote right there and then I had to like fold this in so I can bring it in. So um, we, so I rolled in this bag, tried to fold it as neatly as I could and then I just stuffed it in there and then one, when I took it out, there it was. Um, I'm just making sure it's recording. Um, if you're seeing, you know, my legs right here, I'm just not really dressed yet, but I'm getting good dressed right now, and then we're gonna continue on with this vlog. So yeah, I'm just gonna make sure I fix that thing because I do not want this thing to peel off and fall apart. I can even feel the cushion part in there. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to try to glue the outsides of this as gently as I could. So yeah. So be careful with that bag if you get one of these. I can give you a tour of Annie's house. Here's what, this is what the front living room is like. Fireplace. And there's the kitchen. Her dogs I'm gonna meet, introduce you in a minute. A, the rooftop made a seal, that's pretty nice. Her books, television. Computer. Here's the couch. 
with a wife, but I mean, that still can be pretty useful to watch TV and stuff. trailer, camper trailer, and now this right here is the bedroom, well this is more like the guest bedroom up here, where my mom slept last night, there's a couch, and here is the reading section, and right here, we have another couch that probably turns into a bed, and this right here is the bed itself, I'll, I'll, it's zoom, yeah, zoom the other way out, but there's the bed. This is the couch that turns into a bed. We have another couch that turns into a bed. Yeah, let's take a look at the kitchen. I gotta be careful not to catch my mom. There's another lounge chair. Now, two of them together, it's about $3 million. The dad is a drug dealer. This is something I'm gonna keep my strength up protein milk. Uh, there's a bathroom, laundry room, and this is actually Annie and, Annie, Annie and Cliff's bedroom. Oh, here's one of her dogs. This is Rupert. Rupert. Hey, Rupert. Do you want to say hi to the camera? Yeah, he's like the big teddy bear of the dogs owned by the family. She, he even has big paws. Sniffing the camera. Yeah, he like he's he like slept with my mom last night, and he's like the teddy bear of the dogs. Yeah, he and look at the size of his ears. Very big ears. Here's their ear. Don't tease her. She's he's adorable. He's cute. Say hello. All right. Go. We're gonna eat, Mark. I got it. Okay. Just take your plate right. and fill it this, up. This Everything cliff, right? There. This cliff? No, that's Cliff's up there. Oh, shit. But I shit. That's cliff. <laughs> this is Stuart. And why? And yeah. I mean, why did I forget? Why did I forget that? Why did Stewie I forget that? Stewie, okay. it's okay. Hey! Stewie. Hey! It's okay. He's I don't want to hear any growling. Yeah, yeah this is protecting. this is Stewie. So he's like a very huge dog, but he's like the like the guard dog of the family because he's like almost always aggressive. He's not aggressive, yeah. he's just guarding Annie, because he loves her. I, I know, I know. Alright, so. All right, so here's one part of Annie's farm. This is her and Cliff's uh, trailer home. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. But, this is their trailer home. Me and my mom are still in the looks of finding a new uh, camper van of some sort. And... She also, well, she wasn't suggesting, but she was, like, looking at, like, trailer vans and saying, like, they're more affordable. But, I mean, honestly, I know a trailer home, like, this one works. But it's more like, in my opinion, just more fit for camping. And I know people still uh, drag, uh, you know, t uh, you know, hook it up to their trucks and such and, you know, pull it throughout the highway and such all over the country if they want to. But parking is the problem. It, it only like kind of like fits for camping so this is why i want to get a van but anyways um i'm gonna give you guys a quick look through the door opens and yeah this is a vintage one but it has like all this stuff that's very brand new all right, all right so this right here is uh the dining or the lounging area um this right here we have some windows that you can like just pull down and then it can go us up and it has like a bug screen okay. pulling it down is not an easy task okay yeah you gotta hook it back right there there you go yeah so those are the windows we have a little um pull down screen so you can look through up there some storage areas right here it's uh, hard to see through you got plenty of storage back there 
That's where you can put in some old junk and such. And some sort of outlet for the phone. We had a we have a classic looking uh, DVD or stereo of some sorts. So this right here is the table sitting seating area, and it's very comfortable. It, I think it could also fold into a bed because these um these these cushions move these cu these cushions are pretty loose. And this is a table where you can just see, talk, eat, play games. And we have like another couch with some storage areas. And here we have like a TV. A TV where you can watch. Uh, if you have like a satellite or just DVDs, you can just like watch anything you want. There's a kitchen with some storage underneath. A mini fire extinguisher. Some power switches. Here we have a a sink with a cover and a DVD player. Some power outlets. Another storage area. Some drawers from for utensils and other stuff. An oven, stove. And there's a freezer. Well, that's not a freezer. But right here we have like this is the freezer right here. I can get this thing open. Yep, there's the freezer. Yeah, power's off. Well, I mean, it's sort of on, but it's just like the lights aren't working. You're just getting like lighting from the outside. The fridge. You have like a closet right here. Right here, you have your own shower. And this right here is the bathroom. It almost reminds me of a airport bathroom or airplane bathroom. Some cabinets, some or more storage. Oh, this right here is the microwave that pulls out. Pretty neat. More storage. And this is the bedroom and you also have a TV back here to keep you company on more uh, power outlets smoke alarm but yeah the bedroom it's, and this is like uh, the air that like sucks and pulls in air and it also has a bug screen and you have your lights for reading and using your phone and such so Pretty much just, oh, and here, this is a curtain that just, like, closes this so you can have privacy. But everything in this van, or this trailer, I mean, it's sort of, it's pretty much like what I'm looking for in a camper van that I can afford. But, but not, just not everything just like this. It's just more like whatever style camper I'm looking for. But it's just going to be in a Class B something van. So, yeah, this is the tw a mini tour, or a quick tour of the of their trail home and there's like an air vent or something up there but yeah this is their trail home this right here is actually their is their pool they don't have a cover to put over they just leave it open and then when summer comes they clean it out and it's ready to swim in but this is what their pool is like it's like a u shape or an l shape of some sorts but yeah it's really a nice looking pool and there it's their jacuzzi and this right here is actually their lounging area for the outside. This is where, this is like their cooking section. It has a sink right here. Let's see if it throws out water. No, it does. I don't think it does. I don't know how to work it, but this is their little chimney. Oh, I can't really see that thing. And that's where they like cook. And this is where they lounge, eat, chat, etc. I'll be back later. We're going to go see the animals. Here's just another little. Now we're just gonna follow Cliff out there and we're gonna go see the horses. Being a little cautious because this is my first time ever driving. You gotta be careful. Okay. 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 Rufus. Okay. Are you like you driving? I uh, know, you can point forward if you want to. Okay. The dog's off to the side. I mean, I can go right beside him. I know he'll probably fall. Yeah. Just chilling out in their 
feel. Rufus came right across. I didn't yeah. see her get across the water. So they're all not yeah. used to people well, around here? Well, to us, you and I. Ah. Uh, okay. What I told you is to bother each other again. Yeah. The great is stupid. <laughs> and then look at him. See, look. He's he walks that away. way. happened is, so I show up at the barn, right? I show up at the barn, Hello. and I see these really beautiful horses, Hello. and I'm like going, that's Jet, the brand new one. This is the new one, yeah. The new one. Uh. And the other one right next to him, this horse right here, that is the mother of a horse we're going to go see over there. Uh. And Laura, right here, Laura, her father, both of their fathers are in that field too. So I actually have a full family, mother, father, and son. All right, so we just took a tour of the farm. It was a pretty fun experience. We said hello to the horses, the donkeys, even met a pig, really big pig. And at one point he actually sounded like he was a lion because like, although he was a pig and he was just like oinking angrily, it was just, it was just like a, <laughs> no, no, that's not it. Well, no, at just one point he sounded like he was roaring. So, we're just stopping back at the back. What's this place? Uh, Star Provisions. Star Provisions. Uh, that's actually where uh, this sweater actually, you know, Annie got me for Christmas. We're just going to stop here real quick and then we're just going to go right home. Also, not to mention, we were just uh, looking at some of the vans. Most of the ones we were looking at was brand new and were Mercedes and they're pretty expensive. But we're still trying to see what we can find. That's the best one we can get. Okay, so... I'm going to be trying bubble tea. So I've never tried one before from what I remember, but we're going to give this a try. It's my first time trying it. All right, so originally I was gonna get a green tea raspberry, but they were all out of stock. So I just got a black tea coconut. So we're gonna see how this is. If it was green tea raspberry, it would be a lot better, but it's pretty interesting that these things at the bottom, they're very chewy. Mm. I mean, I don't like how it's, um, there's black tea. I mean, I like it. It's good. The chewy things are good. But if it was green tea raspberry, it would have been 10 times better in my opinion. But this is uh, bubble tea. Mm. It's time to go home. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thanks for watching.